so I am in the same clothes. Why? Because this is the same day as I did the assumptions video. So know your girl not dirty for the people that just wanna talk, okay? I have Lele in the back, as y'all can see right there. Right now I'm about to go get something to eat because I'm starving. Uh, I have to pick up my mom and my sister. I have to pick up my sister from school. My bad, y'all. I have to pick up my sister from school. So she took me to pick her up at four. So I'm gonna have to kill some time. It's 3.15 right now. So I'm about to go get something to eat. Um, tell y'all this story time about this dude, okay? Dudes are crazy. But I need to tell y'all about that story time. As I promised, you know, in the last video that I said. So, yeah. I'm gonna tell you about that to kill some time. Then I gotta get my sister. Then we're gonna go car shopping. Then I have to go, you know, get some stuff for Lele for her, um, her five month you know but thank you so yeah let me stop talking and let's go get some food i'm thinking some taco bell so let's go how you doing hi can i get for you um can i get your chicken quesadilla can i have your fiery doritos locos taco supreme can i have um your can i have a baja breezes i'm fat as fuck <laughs> and uh, um a fiesta potato. Oh my god. Okay. That's it? Yeah, that's it. I'm fatty. Thank you. That is shit. I gotta slow down. Like, all the food going to my booty. I don't wanna slow down because everything hitting the right spot. But I'm about to get my food, y'all. Okay, Jazz Nation. So, I am back. Okay, I'm back and mm, these boys slap like looks like a Mountain Dew Baja freezes. If y'all don't have one of these, if y'all never have one of these, y'all gotta go cop one. Mm. And if y'all haven't and it's good, tell them who sent you the boss, me. Y'all ordered a lot of stuff, bro. Like, I ordered a lot of stuff. They gave me some peppermints. They knew my breath was going to be stinking from the stuff I ordered. They knew my stuff was going to be stinking. Y'all, my bun is lopsided. But, I'm sorry. I need to get my life together. I got some potatoes. I haven't done a, I haven't done a mukbang in so long. Look at these. Mmm. That looks good, doesn't it? You wish you were me, right? But let me tell you this um this um so this little story thing. So I was taking my sister-in-law pictures, right? And you know, I was looking hit or whatever. Like I had my messy bun. I didn't have a bra on. So I had a tank top on, no bra. Cause I was just in chill mode, you feel me? And then my sister just said, Jazz, can you come take this picture? So I'm like, all right. And you know, I had on some, some leggings, I think. So I'm looking real, real like, you know, comfy. I ain't had my makeup, I ain't had no makeup on my eyebrows. It's looking like how they looking now. So I'm up here taking her pictures, right? And as I'm taking her pictures, I hear like a car. And we was in the street because her car is parked in the street, so she wants to take pictures on top of her um her hood, I mean her uh, trunk. She wants to take a picture on top of her trunk. So I'm taking her pictures, and then I hear a car. I hear a car, and I hear a car, and then you know the music playing or whatever. So you know I'm trying to move out of the way because I'm thinking I'm in the middle of the street, so they can you know drive past. So it was a dude. And a passenger seat and then a dude in a driver's seat and they stopped the car i'm like oh it's not why they stop right here so i'm i'm you know i'm like okay we'll forget it so i'm still taking pictures and he gonna he gonna um look out the window and he had dreads too and he had a grill in his mouth i'm looking like and he look at me he the most of them can i get your number i'm looking like he said just like that he like can i get your number so i'm like I just stay quiet like dude really he like what's what's up with the number what's up with the number so i'm just like i don't know if he was talking like that because he had a, like a grill in his mouth or whatever but he was talking like weird so i'm like no nah, i'm all right i'm good but i was laughing too because i find it funny because i must be good i must look good as fuck because 
if you looking hit, if you're not looking up to par, and you got dudes still looking at you and trying to get your number, you the shit, sis, period. That's a tester right there. Look, ladies, have your hair messy, go natural face, eyebrows looking hideous, wear something that's like, as y'all consider what bum you wear or something like that. Wear something that you don't really care about and go out. And if boys still want your attention, sis, you're the shit, okay? Because let me tell you, yesterday I was looking so hit. When I tell you I was looking so hit, I was looking so hit. And the dude was okay looking, you know what I'm saying? He was okay looking. But yesterday was one of them days where I just did not care. And ladies, we got them days where we just do not care at all. I ain't had no bra on, son. So I was kind of feeling a little like, oh my God, he probably looking at my titties. But <laughs> I was like, he probably looking at my titties, bro. But, um... I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. He talking about something. Come on, man. You look, you looking good. I'm looking like, bro, get on. If I say I don't want your number, like, beat it. And he's still trying to get the number and stuff. So, doing the passenger, doing the driver's seat, I see him looking back, like, you know, just looking back trying to see. And I'm, I'm like, I'm thinking like, dude, I don't know what's your friend trying to look to, but ain't nothing going on over here. I don't even want your number. But I was just like, no, I'm all right. <laughs> and I started taking her pictures again. So they drove away. So then I went to the store, right? And this is the same day. You know, me looking bummy. I went to the store. And I need to stop doing that. Like, I need to stop just trying to look bummy. Because I have supporters out there, you guys. And y'all be catching me slipping and be wanting to picture. I'm looking like, bro, this is going to go on the internet. I can't. And I don't want to be rude and say, no, nah, look at me. So I still just take the picture. So I'm going to have to stop trying to, I'm going to have to stop, you know, walking out the house in my comfy wear because y'all be catching me slipping sometimes and that's not cool. But back to the little story, the second time, so, um, I got to eat y'all, huh? I'm talking too much. Y'all, I talk so much. I had to take a break to eat. Mm. Yes. So, where I was at? Okay, so. I had went to the store. And. Same, same where. And. A dude, he was fine as. Mm -mm -mm. That dude was fine as. Hey, when I tell y'all he was fine, baby. Woo, he was fine. Listen, and that's how I knew I was sexy. That's how I knew I'm like, I'm sexy for real. But, you know. Um. So, I was walking, um, and I was picking up a pop. I was about to, I was giving the man my uh, stuff so he could scan it and, you know, bring me up. So, he was behind me. Not like, you know, all up on his ass. But he was behind me. You know, he was just like looking over my shoulder. He wasn't doing that. I was just trying to look to see it. But, he was looking over my shoulder. And I'm looking like, you know, I'm looking like, um, nigga, are you okay? <laughs> but, look. So, um... Now I'm like, I'm thinking like, is something wrong with you? So I look back too, like, and he was cute, but I'm still looking at him like, are you, are you okay? Cause even the cute motherfuckers could be weird as shit. They could be crazy. So he like, oh my bad, I, my bad. I was just trying to grab a little slim jam. So I'm like, okay. So as I'm walking out, I guess he needed to pump his gas or whatever. He's talking about something. You cute. He like, you look familiar though. I'm looking like, oh, do I? And cause I had a feeling he was gonna say YouTube and stuff like that. Like, just just get straight to it. You ain't gotta do no little pickup line and like, we too old for that. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, from where? He like, um, YouTube. So I'm like, oh yeah, uh huh. So yeah. He like, you look even better in person. Like, you so beautiful. I'm like, thank you. Mm -hmm. I just remember. So I'm like, yeah. So. I gave him my number or whatever. 
Because he actually seemed like he was cute for one. But he actually, he actually was seeming like, you know, like, okay, well, he cool. I get my number. Because I'm single. I can do whatever I want. I don't owe nobody an explanation as to what I do in my life. Or, and, you know. So, yeah, I gave him my number. But we said we ain't talking, though. That conversation ended so quick. Like, one little thing. If I find one little thing that I just don't like, I immediately just get turned off. And I stop fucking with you. Like, period. Like, if a nigga cute. And he do one thing that I just don't like, that I just do not find cute at all. I don't care how cute you is. I don't care how much money you got. If you do that one thing that I just don't like, that I feel is like disrespectful or something, I cut you off. Like, I, I just don't care. And he was just like, see, me, I like to get out. You know, I like to party, you know. I like to go to strip clubs, fuck with big booty bitches. I'm like, um, what? What? My nigga? <laughs> He's talking about, and you know. I said with that weed and everything. I'm looking like, I'm like, well, to my luck, I locked up a few times, but you know, it ain't shit to get back in the slammer. I'm looking like, <laughs> ditto, my nigga. You're cut for one. I ain't that type of girl that like that type of shit for one, okay? It's girls that like that type of stuff that like they, you know, men doing drugs and doing all this and doing all that. I I'm not with that. Like, that's one thing about me. I'm not with... I don't like that hood, street type stuff because it's too much I got to worry about. You feel me? It's too much I... It's too much I have to worry about. And I ain't got time for that. And then on top of that, I have a daughter. You feel me? I got to watch who I bring around because of my daughter. And for me too. But for my daughter, I'm not about to bring just anybody around. Especially a dude like that talking about, I go to strip club, ain't nothing to get back in the slammer. I said we, you know what I'm saying? time for that period like i'm not that type of girl so he got cut off the next day okay so i'm back to lonely jazz and, um that's that's just that all right um, there ain't nothing to get back in the slammer after he said that i said cut <laughs> i'm like you're done my nigga uh-uh you barking up the wrong tree now i tried to give you a chance mm -mm. you fucked it up i'm not the type to be in every nigga face i don't i i, I mean I'm, for some reason, I'm okay with being by myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a whole. Uh, I don't need a lot of hoes. Well, I don't need a lot of niggas. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't know why people feel like the need to have like a whole bunch of different people to talk to. But I just don't. Maybe everybody not cut like me for one. And when I'm talking to one person, you know, I'm strictly talking to that one person. I don't talk to one person then fuck with other people. Like that's just not me. And you know. I don't know. Am I being difficult? Spam it up in the comments. Am I a difficult ass bitch? <laughs> Am I a difficult bitch? Am I being a difficult bitch, Jazz Nation? Keep it real. Am I being a difficult bitch? I honestly feel like I'm not though. And I feel like I have to really be... It's not just myself. I have to think about my daughter. So I can't just let any nigga around. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't just fuck with any nigga because they look cuter because they got money. I don't care about the money. I got my own money. You know what I'm saying? And I really don't care about looks. It's about how you treat me. If your mindset is not fuck, if your mindset is not where my mindset at, I can't fuck with you. Like I can't rock with you, period. And this and this dude was talking about big booty girls and and how he don't care about getting back in the slammer and selling and all that other stuff. I'm looking like, dude, uh, uh, you ain't the top. You ain't my cup of tea, bro. Where I'm trying to go with this, your girl fine as fuck. Okay, I was looking hit, and niggas was still trying to get my number. You know you fine, sis. I'm not lying. I'm not lying, y'all. Ladies, go a day. Do a day where you just don't give a fuck. No makeup. Your hair not done. And y'all wear some crazy clothes. And go out. And see if you still can get... Even if you have... Even if a nigga look at you like... You know, you, know you fine, sis. Because people was looking at me left and right. Like sugar daddies was looking at me. And I know they were sugar daddies. For real. But... What's wrong with it? CJ, CJ, no, <laughs> 350. No, so. I have to go pick up my um twin. I have to go pick up my sister. So I'm gonna catch y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>